Welcome to The Short Score, your weekly update of rope and news from around the industry, where you can find the latest on the sport from the pro rodeo ranks to the jackpot world. I'm Taylor Vollen, and I'm your host. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of The Short Score. It's your host, Taylor Vollen. I hope you're recovering from your weekend and have started the week out well. On today's episode, I visited with two young guns who definitely made good use out of their weekend of rodeoing. 18-year-old Cole Smith and 22-year-old Reed Booz are a pair of Great Lakes Circuit young guns that cashed in over the weekend on the circuit front, winning Iowa's championship rodeo in Sydney and the Carson Community Rodeo, also in Iowa, while also placing at the Woodbury County Fair at Moville, once again, Iowa. I hope you guys enjoy today's episode as they talk about their wins, what it means to be young guns that are doing well against some great guys in the circuit, and some of the best in the world that went to Sydney over the weekend. Hey, this is Taylor with the Team Roping Journal. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? Good. Thanks for asking. Where are you guys Hang headed on, today? I'm going to oh, put you over the truck real fast. No, you're good. Perfect. Unplug your phone. Unplug your phone. Unplug your phone. Unplug your phone. Can you hear me now? Yes, you're good. Perfect. So where Perfect. are you guys headed today? Winfield, Kansas. Oh, that's right. Gotcha. gotcha. Yes, man. Well, I just have a couple of questions about the weekend y'all had. I think, I mean, you guys won quite a bit in the Great Lakes Circuit, so I'll get started if you guys are ready. Perfect. Yeah, we're ready. So start off by telling me just a little bit about yourself, like how you got into rodeo, where you guys are from, and how old you are. Well, I I kind of grew up around it. My parents had a rodeo. My brother rode bulls, uh, and I started roping when I was really young. And never really roped on a horse until I was like 11, 10 or 11. Mm-hmm. And just kind of went from there and here, here I am today. <laughs> and you're 18, right? Yes, ma'am. Where are you from? Originally from Missouri, but I've lived in Texas for three years. Gotcha. Reed, what about you? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I, uh, I'm from White Cloud, Kansas. My dad and grandpa, and then I have two older brothers. They've roped since I was little. My older brothers are quite a bit older than me, so they always roped when I was little, so I just kind of followed in behind them. Mm-hmm. So kind of switching gears, I know y'all went to Sydney and Carson and Mobile, but kind of tell me where all y'all went and then break down your runs for me, if you guys don't mind. We started out at Abilene, and I missed my dollar there on a good one didn't give Reed a good look, but mm-hmm. then we went to uh, Dodge City the next day. I missed the first one, and we were 4-8 on the second one to place in the second round, and then uh, we went to a little amateur radio on the way to Carson, I believe, and then drew really good at Carson and went to uh, Watertown, South Dakota, and i broke the barrier there Mm -hmm. and then we went and then we drew really really good at cindy and won cindy too so it was a really good week for us right reed kind of tell me how they were from your perspective on the heel side uh the one at avalane i had a little trouble with but every everywhere else is is easy cole does a good job he has good horses so i uh i can just get up there and do my job i don't have to worry about a whole lot Mm mm-hmm Tell me a little bit about y'all's run from Carson, too. Well, to be honest, I thought I was way late. <laughs> I really did. And then I went back. It felt like I really wasn't as close as I should have been. So I was like, well, I was late. We got by him, and it's all right. And then I went back and watched the video, and it turns out I really wasn't late at all. Mm-hmm. And Reed, Reed said it. He said, I had flashbacks from Abilene once, <laughs> once he seen the neck. Once he seen I had a neck, he said I had flashbacks. <laughs> oh my goodness. So correct me if I'm wrong. A lot of those starts over the weekend and, you know, stronger steers at some and not some others. 
kind of tell me how I know it's just part of the job, but how you bounce from different setups, different steers like that over the weekend when you're running so many. Yeah, well, I I actually was riding a different bit in my gray at the like shorter scores like Carson and mm-hmm. Watertown and stuff, and I and I swapped at, at Sydney and uh, Dodge City to just a little bit bigger, just so he could stay in my hand and not pull through me. Yeah, gotcha. Made some gear changes. I gotcha. Tell me yes, a little sir. bit about the horses that y'all were riding this weekend. I'm riding the gray that I'm riding is my good one. I got him from a buddy up in here, up here in North Missouri, um, three probably about two or three years ago, and he was pretty. He was really, really good when I got him, and just not hauled very much. And I just started taking him everywhere, and he's been the best horse I've, I've ever had. Mm-hmm. Reed, what about you? Um, the, the buckskin mare that I've been riding. I bought her off of a ranch when she was like four or five, and she was a head horse then. Really? And uh, so I've, I've had her for, I think, 10 or 11 years now, so I've, I've grown up riding her a bunch. She's she's not the fastest horse in life, but just <laughs> easy, and I, don't know what, I know what she's going to do every time, so I don't have to worry about messing yeah. around with that. Yeah. Okay, so Texas and Kansas, kind of tell me what made you all decide to claim the Great Lakes circuit. I honestly messed up. I was living in Texas working for Dakota Merchant Slayer all last year. Oh, okay. And I had gotten, I got into Fort Worth before I quit rodeo and I got into Fort Worth mm-hmm. and uh, I bought my card to go to Fort Worth and I didn't even look at it to think about what circuit to nominate. I was planning on being at Dakota's, so I don't know why I nominated the Great Lakes <laughs> Circuit, but I did, luckily. And uh, Cole, he called me, asked if I wanted to come back up here because uh, I'm from up here and I've mm-hmm. gone to the Great Lakes Circuit before, so it's like, yeah, that sounds a lot better than working. You've claimed it before, you said? Yes, ma'am. This is, I did, I think it was like 20 and 21 was the, the last years that I rode you. Gotcha. And I claimed the Great Lakes Circuit once in years. Gotcha. Um, anyways, so you said you worked for Dakota? Yes, ma'am. Kind of tell me a little bit about how that was. It was good. He, he honestly, he taught me a lot, and uh, it was good for me to take a year off because of all before I had just gone to the amateur radios mm-hmm. and kind of been up here. I went to Texas for school, but I never got to live with anybody of that caliber to, to teach me just to be around someone like that every day. And he taught me a lot about a horse and, and helped me with my roping along the way. And taught me, I think I matured a lot while I was there, mm-hmm. and he was really, really good for me. That's definitely a good person to learn from, too, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's a fun person to be around. He <laughs> makes it fun, but we also, you have to be serious at the same time. Yeah. And he, he was working for that. That's good, yeah. Cole, what made you decide to claim the Great Lakes Circuit? Well, I I was living with Coy Rollman for a while. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Like six months, probably. And we've always been really, really good friends. Well, I got to talking about him, and I was going to rope with Ryan bought on up here. Well, then he decided to head, and then I called Reed. And really, the main thing that made me come up here was I talked to Coy. I thought about it for a while, mm-hmm. and Coy's like, "It's it's an easy way to make money up there, and and also to yeah. learn a lot about everything. So it, it would if you got a really good run, and you know he's got good horses, and it's kind of dumb not to do it. Mm-hmm. And so that's and that's when I called Reed. We got it all figured out. Here we are. Right. Tell me a little bit more about y'all's partnership. How long have you guys known each other and, and things like that? Oh, shoot. Probably, I don't know exactly how long. <laughs> He's always been, Reed's always come to like all the ropings around here and stuff. And I've always seen him there and we've roped together. And then we went to Texas and didn't really talk much other than when we were at a rope and we'd rope every now and then and then talk to each other. Mm-hmm. And then it just kind of, I don't know, it all worked out to get up here in the rodeo. Right. You guys are both younger. Do you think that hurts you guys, or is it kind of easier to be on the same page in life? What are kind of your thoughts on that? Uh, I think it helps us get closer to the same age. 
I kind of a little older, not much mm-hmm. older, but I, I think it helps. Like the, the big age difference is sometimes hard because they have families or yeah. or kids or wives or whatever. Neither of us have that, so it works perfect. We just kind of do our own things. We both like doing the same thing. We don't <laughs> have any family or anything to to have to run back home and take care of or stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Cole, you're still on your permit, right? Yes, ma'am. Do you kind of tell me a little bit about your plan there? Have you thought about how long you want to stay on it? Well, I don't. That's the thing. I was I actually was trying to think about that last week or two weeks ago with me going to college at Cisco. Mm-hmm. I don't know for sure exactly how long I'll stay on it. For sure, probably another year after this one, and then just kind of see what what happens from there and see where we go. Was it a no-brainer for you to start rodeoing this year, though, and get on your permit? Yeah, I mean, it was super easy for me to decide. It was just the, who I wanted to rope with and where I wanted to go. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. And I, I've always known Reed, and I've always known he's been good at it. So I was like, I'm kind of done if I don't. <laughs> It sounds like accidentally claiming the wrong circuit worked out pretty well for Reed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sydney is a bigger rodeo in the Great Lakes circuit. You guys have big names that come. Like, it's not just an easy one to win. So, with being as young as y'all are, how does that kind of feel for you guys to have that win under your belt? It, it was cool. I'd been there in the past when I went to these rodeos and I uh, I told Cole I'm like I don't know what it is about that place but I've gotten outran there both times I've been there. Oh no! Like, the steers are always stronger it seems mm-hmm. like and for some reason it's just a weird start. Mm-hmm. And uh, we finally drew a good one. Luckily yeah. caught. Well, and it's it got is a... cool and, and it's close to my house too. So oh good. All of his family was there. And my family's big been going up there and all a bunch of friends and stuff are there so it's pretty cool. Gotcha. Very neat. So, do you guys, either of y'all know how that affected you guys in the standings? I know with PRCA being down, it's been a pain in the butt for everybody, but I didn't know if you guys kind of had an idea. I think it, it dang sure jumped me a couple spots. We won, like, I think in our circuit last year, or last week, we won, like, I think right at 5,000. Mm-hmm. So, it, it jumped me a couple spots and put me pretty close to which. It's been, it's been good. Like we, I don't know how many how many weeks we've been exactly, but we've done good every week that we've been out. Gotcha. So it's been it's been really good to us. Mm-hmm. What is kind of the plan for the rest of the year? I know that might be a silly question, but uh, I guess we're gonna try to make sure we get our rodeo count <laughs> first, <laughs> and then after that, see where we're gonna go. Gotcha. Have you, did you ever qualify for the circuit finals out there to Louisville? Oh, yes, ma'am. I did both years. Gotcha. Cool. So you know what it's I like then. I Cooper Bruce. Oh, okay. And, uh, we, I think when I was 18, it was COVID year, maybe 19. Mm-hmm. Whatever year that was, was my first year. And we qualified for the circuit finals and won the average. And then we got to go to, it was at Kissimmee then. Oh, So that yeah. was pretty cool first year very cool yeah where all to next too i know y'all said you guys are going um kansas again today but where are the rest of the week uh we go to his brother's house until uh wednesday and then we go to sykeston on the 10th and then marshall minnesota the 11th and then i'm not 100 percent sure after that gotcha we kind of Litharal, Minnesota, in the morning, twelve, and I think Morris, Minnesota, the night, at twelve. Okay, gotcha. Staying up there. Well, perfect. That's one thing neither of us are very good at. We're not very good at scheduling. And this is the first time I've had dinner, so that makes it a little complicated. I get confused a lot. I have to call a lot of people. I ask a lot of questions. I feel like that's normal, though. Like I don't think that that's just y'all. I'm sure everybody's been there hard to learn in the ropes, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I never entered in the 
I, this year, I'm like, man, I guess I'm going to have to do these things. I don't think he's going to do it. <laughs>